Hello and welcome, my name's Sam and this is The Little Greenhouse Creates. Thank you for joining me today and thank you for joining me for a Coffee and Cards Thursday. So, let's grab our coffee and we will begin. This is the Garden Birdhouse that, uh, stamp set that we're going to be using this morning. Um, it's got some wonderful bird's houses on here. I mean, this could, I suppose, could actually be like a uh, lady bird house if you wanted it to be. It's got three little dicky birds, which are very, very cute. And you can have your birdhouses either hanging or sitting on a long stalk in a garden. So let me show you the cards that I've created so far with this stamp set. Okay, so we've got a birthday wishes and a welcome. Um, and what we're going to create this morning is a welcome card or a new home card. Um, but mainly on this kind of design. So let me grab you the supplies. Okay, so we have this morning a, now this is Bumblebee and it measures the normal eight by five and three quarters, folded and burnished. Okay, like so. And then I have a piece of cinnamon cider, which measures three and three quarters by five and a half. And then I have a layering piece or two layering pieces, one for the outside and one for the inside. And they both measure three and a quarter by five inches. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the cinnamon cider. Now I have cinnamon cider stamp pad here and I am bringing in my branch, which is this one here. And I just need to grab a largish block. There we go. I'm just going to pop that on my block. And then I'm just going to work my way round the um, cardstock like this to create this kind of border. So, opening the cinnamon cider, I'm just going to tap gently. And then we're just going to work our way round the cardstock, just giving it an edge. There we go. Now, obviously, some of this will be covered up because of the cardstock that's going to go into the middle, but there we go. There we have this lovely decorative edge now. Okay, let's put that away and I can clean my stamp. Now I'm just going to use a bit of the stamp and mist on my chamois and then I'm just going to wipe that over my ink pad. There we go. Okay, so that's that out of the way. Okay, so now that can be layered onto our card base. So let's just... Shall we do it the other way? I think that's going to lay better. That's better. Perfect. Right, there we go. That's better. And then I can put that bit onto there. And I'm going to attach that with my uh, stamp and seal. Okay, so I'm just going to use that around the edges. Okay, and then that can be attached to the card base. There we are. Perfect. Right, so the next thing to do is this layer is going to go onto here. Now the first thing I'm going to do, because I'm going to be putting in the these three houses, what I want to do is I put the sentiment up there first so that I know how much room I have got. And I'm going to use the cinnamon cider again and I'm going to use the word welcome. So let's <coughs> oh excuse me. There we go. And I'm just going to pop that up in the top left hand corner. There we go. And again, I'm just going to wipe that off so it doesn't go anywhere. Perfect. 
Okay, so now we can bring in our three houses. Now this is the one I want, <coughs> square one here, is the one I want the most, it's slap bang in the centre. So I'm going to stamp that one in early espresso. Actually it's probably better to do it the other way. There we go. And then I can see how high up I want it to go. So that's going to go about there. Okay. And then I've got the other two. This one I'm going to have probably just about here. Okay. And then I've got my other little round house, which I'm just going to pop up a little bit higher to about there. Wonderful. Okay, so there are the three houses, and now I have this stem which is going to hold all of the um, houses up. So what I do, <clears throat> is because it's quite wobbly, I just let it lie flat and then paste the block over it. That way you're not forcing the block, the ink, let's try that again, you're not forcing the stamp to take a position that you don't need it to take at this particular time. Obviously if you wanted it bent then that would be fine. Okay, so I'm just going to add it there. If we can do this house straight. That's one. And then I've got this little one down here at the bottom. There we go. Right. So we can put that aside for a second. Just going to colour this in. And then the only other thing I need to do is I'd like to put one of these little licky birds. onto here. I think he's going to have to go on that one. I maybe I've put the house the uh, house too high up on that one. So I'm just going to put my little dicky bird there on the house like so. Close up that ink pad. We'll wipe out the dicky. There he is. And then what we can do now is we're just going to colour those in. So what I've got is, let's show you what I've got. So I've got the um, light and dark crumb cake. I have um, the blue and the, so this is the dark balmy blue. And this is the light freesia. I then have the magenta madness and I also have the light daffodil delight. Um, what I'll actually do before I colour those in is I'm actually going to add some grass and some flowers at the base of the um, poles of each of the house. So I'm just going to tab that up in pear pizzazz. I'm going to put one there. And I'm going to add one down there, just making it short enough. And what you can do is now we've got a single flower. So that can sit there and it probably can go there as well. Look at that, perfect. Now we can go ahead with our colouring in. So I'm going to start with the houses. So I'm going to use the dark crumb cake and I'm going to work around the edges of all three houses. And I find that if I'm going to be colouring more than one section in the same colour, I like to do it all together. Okay, so that's going to go around there. And I'm going to put that there. There. And then this one will just come across here. There. So this is all being done in the dark crumb cake. So that will come along here. There. And across there. Perfect. Actually, I might just colour that bit in as well. There we go. Now I'm going to use the light crumb cake 
um, and I'm just going to colour in the rest of the bird houses and now if I wanted to I could probably use there we go the same technique on this as I'm doing here I've decided on this particular one I'm just going to colour it all in in the light crumb cake just for ease really today there we are, that's one there we go, I'm going to leave the door um, and then I'm just going to colour that section there there we go and then these ones here. I am actually going to use the light crumb cake on the stands. There we go. Okay. Oh look, missed a bit. There we go. Right. So the thing we're going to do now, I'm going to use the magenta madness on here. Now this is the light one. <coughs> Uh, making his front door or her front door very bright. It's the new house in the neighbourhood, that one. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm then going to colour in this section in the dark balmy blue. There we go. So this one is, this pink one, is going to be the new house on the block, I think. There we go. That's that one. And then I'm just going to give him the same colour roof as well. There we go. Lovely. Now down here we've got some little flowers which, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to colour in with my uh, Daffodil Delight just to add a bit of colour to the greenery and I'm just going to I'm not actually colouring them in I'm just sort of squiggling over them really so I'm using the blunted edge as such rather than the big pointy edge so that just gives me the colour Okay, so the only thing we really need to do on this section is to add our card base. And again, I'm going to use the stamp and seal. So I'll turn that over and then work around all four sides. So it's a quite nice, easy, relaxing Thursday card. Whoops those down and there we go wonderful so that is oh look we haven't coloured in our little dicky bird so I'm going to give him or her a little yellow chest like that and then I'm going to use the dark that's the light I'm going to use the dark <laughs> crumb cake to colour him in there we go there Beautiful. Right, so we've done him now. So the only thing left to do now is to add our inside layer. But before I add it in, I just want to add a couple of little details. So I'm going to take my um, stand. I'm going to ink it up in the early espresso. There we go. And I'm just going to pop it. There. There'll be no colouring in on this section, just giving it the highlights. There we go. Our little dicky bird, wherever I put him, there he is. Oh, he can go on the house like that. And then using the peppers as once more, I'll put some greenery around the base. So let's do that. I'm going to put on there and on there. 
perfect and as I said I'm not going to worry about colouring that in I'm just literally going to pop it into the middle of my card like so and again I'm going to use my stamp and seal perfect okay turn that over and we can just pop it in the centre so there we have a very nice home card so as you can see it's similar oops let's bring that down so you can actually see it similar to the birthday wishes but obviously in different colours and then I've also got this one as well okay well thank you very much for joining me for this very quick coffee and cards Thursday um, as I said I hope you like the stamp set it is I think quite effective you know you've got different options you've got your tree here and your hanging tra um, hanging houses and your houses on their stems there must be a word pole yeah see I knew there was a word um, and I think a lot can be done with this stamp set not just something as simple and as uh, enjoyable as these three cards anyway thank you ever so much for joining me today I'm back again tomorrow for a funky fold Friday so if you're available do join me I'd love to have you join us um, if you're watching on YouTube please just press the subscribe button so you'll always know when my videos are available um, and if you feel like give us a thumbs up that would be wonderful but whatever you do for the rest of the day stay safe take care and lots of love bye